Yo, what up, hey, how you doing guys? My name is Sanj, today we're back with another video and as you can see from the title, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the, the trends that's been up and coming for the past, I'd say, the last year's become more prominent, this spring, summer especially, a lot of people have been doing it and that is wearing socks and slides. And by slides, I mean, they could either be slides or they could be sandals, proper dad vibe. We're gonna be taking a look at three ways to wear them. I won't delve too much into the history as to who started it or where it came from. I'm sure there's other videos where someone else can shed more light towards it. The way I see it, it's very much inspired from like Asian cultures, which has then been westernized. And now we're seeing it everywhere from catwalks to street style to just people wearing it on their day to day. So we've got three pairs today, come at various price points, and we're gonna be diving into those. Why I'm wearing a beanie in mid July or just early July is because today's one of those days when the hair just does not listen to you. It's just doing its own thing. So there you go. And obviously I'm gonna be ripping the boys a little bit 98 vintage jersey for this Sunday, which I'm super, super gassed about. So, slides numero uno. We've got these guys right here. They are a, they're considered anyway stone colored, but obviously that's what it says on the website. They're more of a tan colorway, and these are like the slides silhouette. Now, straight off the bat, this is very reminiscent of your Sui Coast. Although the, the design idea might be similar to the Visum Christos, these aren't as thick and as bulky as the Christos. So this is definitely more of a Sui Coat vibe, which ASOS have copied or replicated or however you wish to call it. And these are currently on sale for 11 pounds. So by the way, everything that I'm mentioning today will be in the description box down below. So if you wish to go check it out, you may do so. These are super comfy. They've got a sort of, um, what is this? Fabric, like nylon neoprene upper, you could say. And so what that does, it just helps keep your foot firmly in place. And the bottom of the shoe is a sort of rubber that will kind of really stick to your feet. And when you're wearing socks, it does tend to pull up. So just bear that in mind. I stay true to size with the UK 7, and I think they still have some sizes left. Obviously, normally when you think of style of slides, you think of black sandals or black slides, and they're relatively easy to style. They can, for me, I would wear slides whenever I would think of pulling off loafers or those sort of slimmer silhouette shoes and so for these slides outfit we've got a shirt from asos beautiful shirt i was so surprised to have come across this this shirt costs 28 pounds it's got this really sick little rodeo design with this cowboy on his horse nice little print i love the cut of it it's a size medium i feel as though i could have gone with a size small if i wanted it to be a bit more boxy but i just love the flowy nature of it so maybe if you stay true to size it will be very flowy and some Somewhat borderline oversized. I feel like if you size down, you can have a more cropped and boxier cut of the shirt. But it's just a beautiful shirt, and for 28 quid, you really cannot go wrong. And then for trousers, we've got my beloved Junior Watanabe from God knows I can't remember the season, but they are just insane, man. Such a cool little design. They're wide. I feel like with these trousers, these slides match perfectly. Like it's got this very Asian vibe about it and that's what I wanted to recreate in this look so look number one real clean sort of every day day to day that you can just bust out and go about your day look number two we've got holiday dad on vibe holiday dad on vibe holiday dad vibe for these guys we've got the sandals boom right here now this is perhaps the most popular design out of the lot sandals vibe once again these are from ASOS and I think they cost 16 pounds or something like that so extremely affordable really nice pair and these aren't a pair that you're going to be thinking too much about trashing up you know so you can just chuck them on go about your day and another thing another pointer for me anyway so why i like slides because it's been a trend that for a long time i didn't want to jump on just because truth be told i didn't think it looked that great i saw the potential but i didn't think it looked that great but now obviously the brain changes and the way you see things might change as the time goes on and now I think they look awesome. These again can be worn with black socks if you want to go for a more subtle look and I think that's probably my favourite way to wear these slides. I don't want to scream in people's faces that I'm wearing slides out. Whether that might be sandals or slide, I'm not one to scream in your face. However, if you wish to go for a more daring or more sort of screaming in your face then all you have to do is wear some white socks or tan socks and that's exactly what I've done with this look. Now, before I show you guys the look, do not listen to dweebs that tell you that these don't look good with shorts. Don't wear socks and slides and shorts. That fucking looks dumb as hell. If you want my trousers, that's it, mate.
that is it. Now there's plenty of reasons why you shouldn't listen to that guy. However, the only point you should take from that video is that Teva, I think that's how you pronounce it, T-E-V-A, they do some great sandals as well. And so outfit wise, what have we got? A very simple holiday dad vibe. Dries Van Otten silk set, we've got the shirt and the shorts, super easy to throw on it. It's a set, you really can't go wrong with that. We've got some tan socks, those are from Uniqlo. And then we've got some sunglasses from Christian Roth and the hat is from Balenciaga. This is definitely more of a holiday vibe. I love this look because it's super easy to throw. You can just go about your day and there's something about it that just looks so clean and I love that. Now, as I said, if you wish to be more subtle about your footwear, you may replace it for black socks and then it will just seamlessly transition into the bottom half without it being a big statement about, hey, I'm wearing slides. So super clean look and I will be sharing more information about that Dries set in my upcoming video because this was something I bought during this summer sale period. So that is that. Ooh. That is that for outfit number two. Now for slide number three, we've got the powerhouse, the ones that I've shown you guys before, and that is these bad boys right here. These are from Prada. Now I know, before you guys get on my case, yes, this is very much inspired by the Visvim Christos and by the Sui Cokes. I think I would still put the Visvim Christos as like the OGs, the goats, when it comes to slides, especially these chunky ones. And then I'll put Sui Coke and then well, in terms of quality and craftsmanship, I'd probably put the Pradas ahead of Sui Cokes, me personally. But in terms of who did the design before and who's got more of a culture for that, then obviously Sui Coke will be ahead of Prada in that case. But man, are these a thing of beauty. They are super sick, super chunky. Now, I know whenever I've worn these, people make jokes about them being the slippers you get given at the NHS, them being some orthopedic shoes that old people have. And you know what? I don't care because these look sick they're just awesome they're all black that's one of the reasons i strayed away from the sui coat because there's a tiny bit of branding that is white i believe and so in an all black design a tiny bit of white really does scream so i preferred an all black look and prada kind of delivered super comfy they've got an adjustable buckle on top to tighten the pair i've worn these a hell of a lot to my surprise it was one of those shoes that i bought for holiday purposes and then it got extremely hot in London and to my surprise I was able to bust these out. Now for this slide I would wear this in replacement to either loafers and even some chunky shoes because of the chunky nature of the slide itself. So for this outfit this is definitely how how, how I've worn it previously and how I intend on wearing it and this is a pair that looks amazing with trousers. So we've got some black trousers from Acne Studios, we've got my grey t-shirt from Bare Knuckles with the design, the washed black tee and then we've got the striped denim jacket from Bare Knuckles, we've got the beanie from Noah and then all the accessories will be all linked in the description box down below so you can take a look because I don't want to run through them. Upon a quick glance these don't look like slides at all. They could very well pass off as shoes. And I think that's my favorite element about slides in general is the fact that you can easily pass them off as shoes with some nice details. So once again, we've got a very simple look. And as I said, this pair can work beautifully with trousers, with sweatpants, with whatever. Whenever you think of wearing loafers, you can easily replace it with these slides. Even on my Instagram, I posted up a picture of me wearing the slides, the needle sweatpants, the Prada shirt. Now without the slides, I would have gone for loafers, but with the slides, boom, we've got an extra element. It just adds that little, I don't know. For me, it looks cool and it's very on trend and very current right now, which is another thing to bear in mind if you're planning on splashing a lot of money. How long will this last? When will this trend die out? It's now the way I see it. Although it may not be as popular in like a couple of months or in like a year or two, this is definitely something that you can still keep wearing just to kind of run about your errands or whatever. So for that reason, I was able to justify these Pradas and the ASOS were just mad cheap, like 11 quid, 16 pounds. And that's because these are on sale and these are full priced. Even then, it's not going to break the bank too much. And I think it can add a really cool elemental layer to your outfits but that is that for this video man hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below if you picked up any slides if you have any slides how you wear them and what you sort of see them as replacement for because i think it's very interesting to see what people wear them as and where would they replace it because these two whenever i'm thinking of loafers or low cut sneakers like common projects these two perfect this it fills the it, it ticks sorry the box from before but I would also replace it with chunky trainers or chunky shoes like Darby's. And even to a certain extent, if I may say, some like chunkier boots, I think this would look cool. Because if you were looking at the outfit that I wore with this, I know it would have looked awesome with some combat boots as well. But wearing it kind of gives it a different 
element to it. But that is that, man. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here, S-A-N-G-I-E-V. That is for my snaps, my Twitter, my Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up because it will help me out tremendously. Thank you for watching. Sunday is going to be a big day because France are going to be playing, well, as of this recording, I don't know if they're going to be playing England or Croatia. Either way, it's going to be a good game. I'm hoping that it's a France-England final because that would be absolutely sick. It would just be such a good game, man. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.